The search for a new actor to portray James Bond will be a tough one. After 60 years, there are big shoes to fill, and this time around, Bond also needs to be reborn, quite literally. There are many promising British actors that could potentially pick up the Walther PPK and the keys to the famous Aston Martin. But what do each of them bring to the table? What are their individual strengths and weaknesses? Let's find out in the Bond Actor Roulette. We have to start somewhere, so why not the most recent name added to the list? Hyped by the media and subsequently by many fans recently is 32-year-old Aaron Taylor-Johnson, best known for his portrayal of the title character in Kick-Ass in 2010 and its 2013 sequel, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe character Pietro Maximoff in Avengers Age of Ultron in 2015. For his performance as psychopathic drifter Ray Marcus in Tom Ford's Thriller Nocturnal Animals in 2016, he won the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor and was nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. He has since appeared in the action films Tenet in 2020 and Bullet Train in 2022, so he is definitely no stranger to action. Taylor Johnson will next play another Marvel character in Kraven the Hunter, set to be released in 2023 as part of the Sony's Spider-Man universe. He will also reunite with Bullet Train director David Leitch for the action film The Fall Guy, with a March 2024 release date. He is also attached to the film Rothko, directed by his wife Sam Taylor Johnson, which is currently in pre-production. After that, he could technically be free for Bond. And apparently, he has already screen-tested for the much-desired part sometime between September and November 2022. A source told GQ magazine that producers loved him and he is now one of the frontrunners. As with everything in the press these days, this kind of information from undisclosed sources should be taken with several pinches of salt. Speaking to Vanity Fair magazine, Taylor Johnson himself said, It's flattering. You can have something really positive written about you, but you can also have something really negative that can circulate. You just want to stay in your lane, stay grounded, stay around the people that you love and love you back, and stay in that world. Because the moment you start believing the shit people say about you, you've lost your fucking mind. You've lost it. That tells us close to nothing, however. But does he have what it takes to be 007? Well, he has a history of being a well-balanced comedic action star, with not many leading roles to his name. That could be a bonus, a fresh face could be easier to tie down for a long-term Bond contract than an established and famous actor. He could be in his mid-40s after a 10-year 007 tenure. Another candidate that recently made the headlines as a frontrunner was 34-year-old Reggae Jean Page, who rose to fame with the Netflix hit Bridgerton in 2020. Given the series' sharp rise in popularity, Page brings along a young fan base which the Bond producers wish to attract to Bond. He gave a diplomatic response to the question of him being talked to play Bond. Page told Vanity Fair that it's terribly flattering to simply be in the conversation. When asked if he would do it, Page noted, I have no idea. It's not a thing that is fully occupying my thoughts. I've got enough on my plate at the moment. I worry about the work I have, not other people's jobs. While Page definitely has the sex appeal and tons of charisma, the young star hasn't had much experience starring in action films and didn't have many chances to show off his comedic side either. Another factor that shouldn't be an issue, but apparently is for many die-hard fans of the Bond series, is that Page would be the first black actor to take on the role of 007. Author Ian Fleming gave a clear description of James Bond in his novels, and the producers would be taking a leap of faith with choosing Page and thus ignoring Fleming's description altogether. Judging by the many posts on social media, 36-year-old Scottish actor Richard Madden is a definite fan favourite. He found international fame playing Rob Stark on Game of Thrones and earned rave reviews for his performance as a police detective assigned to protect Keely Hawes' politician in Bodyguard, a role that earned him a Golden Globe Award. The rumours about him being considered for Bond began shortly after that, early in 2019, where he stated that it was flattering but just talk. Madden stepped into the Marvel Cinematic Universe when he joined former Game of Thrones co-star Kit Harington and Angelina Jolie for The Eternals. It was at the 2021 Italian premiere of that film in Rome where an Italian reporter wanted to dig to the truth of the rumours after which a member of Richard Madden's team can be heard saying, we're going to move on from that just moments after. Would you like to play James Bond in your future? 
<laughs> Silence can sometimes be very revealing, you would think. But all too often, it's just the fact that the same boring question is asked over and over again. But what would a Richard Madden Bond look like if it were to happen? Without question, he is very talented and has the looks to portray the iconic 007. And he is open to change, as he told the Scottish Herald in 2011. Doing jobs that are completely different to the last thing I did pushes me as an actor to change as much as I can. The potential is there, and Madden's portfolio of action and romance films presents an interesting mix. However, his physical presence and natural air of authority would be something to improve on if he was willing to take over the license to kill. The same can also be said about our next star, 35-year-old Thomas Felton, who is best known for playing Draco Malfoy in the film adaptations of the Harry Potter novels. When asked if he could imagine following in the footsteps of Daniel Craig, he told Closer magazine that James Bond would be the ultimate dream. The first film I had when I was seven years old was James Bond. That's all I had on my mind. So he is familiar with the material. However, as that alone does not qualify you for the role, let's see what else he has to offer. He has a big fan following among the younger generations, which, again, is partly what the Bond producers are aiming for. He is able to add great depth to a character, even with a limited amount of screen time, like his 31 minutes in the Harry Potter films. On the other hand, he is a very shy and sensitive person, which could present a problem taking on a world-famous lead role that would put him in the spotlight for years to come. Somebody who wouldn't have a problem with that is 36-year-old actor Sam Claflin, who also had a fair share of action roles. He launched his film career with the fourth film of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise on Stranger Tides in 2011 and rose to fame with his portrayal of Finnick O'Dare in the Hunger Games film series from 2013 to 2015. It was in 2015 that he was quizzed by GQ magazine about his favourite James Bond. There have been some phenomenal Bonds for me. I don't even know if it's specifically him being Bond or just the films that they've done. I have to say Daniel Craig. Current, contemporary, I think he's one of the only James Bonds who actually looks like he could be a secret agent. That first film when he came out of the ocean, totally ripped, I was like, wow, okay, he could do some damage. I really like the darker tones that they've adopted recently. It's James Bond as we've never seen him. They've made him contemporary and accessible to today's society as opposed to being old-fashioned and misogynist. His answer, of course, plays right into the hands of the Bond producers, but doesn't automatically propel him onto their mysterious candidate shortlist. But he has other qualities. He's tall, with 1 meter 80, well-built and able to portray a wide range of characters on screen. In his 2014 film The Riot Club, he delivered a vicious performance as Alistair Ryle that somewhat saved the film, which only received mixed reviews. His role of Oswald Mosley, the leader of the British Union of Fascists, in the much-loved BBC TV series Peaky Blinders, presented us with another layer of his malevolent side. Claflin can be bad and tough on screen, and he could well fit into the Bond persona. More rooted in the fantasy genre is 30-year-old Robert Aramayo, who is best known for playing the role of young Eddard Stark in the sixth and seventh season of the HBO series Game of Thrones, from 2016 to 2017. He has recently been seen on our screens in the Amazon Prime fantasy series The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. But can you make the jump from playing an elf to playing the world's most famous secret agent? Betting experts William Hill have prized the actor at 32 to 1 to take over from Daniel Craig as James Bond. Same as Sam Claflin, Aramayo has the perfect height with 177, which the producers are rumoured to be looking for. But, as mentioned before, age is also an issue. That's where 27-year-old Irish actor Paul Mescal comes into play. Mescal made his film debut with a supporting role in the psychological drama The Lost Daughter in 2021 and received praise for starring in the 2022 drama films God's Creatures and Aftersun. His performance as a troubled father in Aftersun earned him nominations for an Academy Award and BAFTA Film Award. So after March 13, he could potentially be the only Oscar winner of the candidate list. No wonder, as he is able to play complex and troubled characters with ease. However, he currently has four projects in pre-production, including the much-anticipated Gladiator 2 in 2024. He definitely keeps busy in the film world and likes to give his acting quality to a wide field of characters. If he would be willing to be tied down for a long-term Bond engagement is questionable, doubtful even.
However, speaking to Digital Spy in December 2020, he said, Would I play Bond? Yeah, I don't know. If it ever came my way, we'd have a discussion about it. I don't know. I don't want to say yes or no. I am a massive fan and will continue to be, regardless. He would be the youngest actor to play Bond, and slightly below the age that the Bond producers are looking for. The only problem is, he appears as very unthreatening in his screen appearances. Someone who has actually previously auditioned for Bond is 42-year-old Scottish actor Sam Ewan. Before Daniel Craig was cast, Ewan was among the actors who auditioned for Casino Royale. Agreed, he is now out of the age range that the producers are aiming for and would be in his 50s when he passes on the Walther PPK to the next man. But Ewan possesses a fine quality when it comes to having an incredibly raw acting. This can be closely observed in the critically acclaimed TV series Outlander of US pay TV channel Stars. In the finale of season 1, he masterfully portrays his character Jamie Fraser, a man who is being broken down, not only physically, but mentally as well. What will rule him out though, or probably already has, is his age. With 42, it is unlikely that the Bond producers would call him in for an audition again. With 33 years of age, actor Nicholas Holt would still be in the desired age, however. He is best known for playing the mutant Hank McCoy in the 2011 superhero film X-Men First Class, a role he reprised in later installments of the series. In 2015, he had a supporting role in Mad Max Fury Road and was recently seen on our screens in the black comedy The Menu, alongside Ralph Fiennes. However, most of the roles Holt has played are quirky characters and, more importantly, most of them were supporting roles. He is an actor that can easily evoke sympathy and the subversive, eccentric or exquisitely villainous roles see more up his alley. What speaks against him? He's seen action on screen, but he's missing the physical appearance of a Daniel Craig. Another thing is the missing publicity. No doubt he has a fan following, but it's not as great as that of a Thomas Felton or Reggae John Page. Going with a relatively unknown face could be a safe bet, but it could also prove a fatal decision and make the next 007 extravaganza bomb at the box office. Next up is a somewhat unusual choice with 34-year-old actor Jonathan Bailey, who has mainly starred in comedy films and musicals. But his portrayal of Anthony, Viscount Bridgerton, in the record-breaking Netflix series Bridgerton, was critically acclaimed and gained him international recognition, as well as a mass following among younger generations, who might well flock to the cinemas to see him play the iconic 007. According to online betting website Boyle Sports, Bailey's odds jumped from 40 to 1 to 20 to 1 in August 2022, placing him 8th on the list of potential Bond stars. Indeed, he does look the part, is athletic and not tied down by any big franchise. He would also be the first gay actor to take on the role. BAFTA winner James Norton is 37 years old but had his fair share of interesting roles that could make the Bond producers invite him for an audition. He is the embodiment of a gentleman, well-spoken, self-effacing and possesses that quiet British charm. He had a Cambridge education, no less. He even had a slight brush with the world of the Secret Service in 2022's Rogue Agent, although it was the story of Robert Hendy Freeguard, a con man who tricked and convinced several people that he was an MI5 agent. Alongside him starred Gemma Arterton herself, a former Bond girl in Quantum of Solace. But his presence on screen is mostly of a very composed nature. There are nuances, but overall he seems just too nice and slick to fit into the Bond persona. In addition, he doesn't bring a huge fan following like some of the other actors. An interesting actor to look at in this array of talent is 32-year-old Jack Loudon, who very recently starred in a real spy thriller series. In Slow Horses, based on the Slough House novels by Mick Herron, he plays River Cartwright, an up-and-coming MI5 agent shunted aside to Slough House after a very public training exercise mistake. The series premiered on Apple TV Plus on 1st April 2022 and received praise from critics. Apart from that, Loudon brings along an impressive resume of on-screen characters, from his big break in the history epic War and Peace, to a Royal Air Force fighter pilot in Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk, to singer Morrissey in England is Mine, 
all the way up to Lord Darnley in Mary Queen of Scots, opposite Saoirse Ronan, who he is also dating. More recently, he impressed audiences in the BBC drama The Gold, where he portrays real-life crook Kenneth Noy, who was involved in the biggest armed heist in British history, the brinks matt gold bullion robbery in November 1983. After viewers expressed an interest in him playing Bond, he was quizzed by Esquire magazine this month, to which he replied that he had never auditioned and that, like everyone else, I'm still trying to get over the fact that Daniel Craig's not doing Bond anymore. I think he should still be doing it, to be honest, and he was my Bond. It's very flattering to be asked about it, but I'm very much all about River Cartwright at the moment. So, it might be his own choosing that we don't see him in a tuxedo anytime soon. Let's talk about the elephant in the room who appears in the form of 39-year-old Henry Cavill, or Superman, as many of you might know him as. Audiences had tipped him for Bond ever since his appearance as Napoleon Solo in The Man from Uncle in 2015. However, 10 years earlier, Cavill had in fact been the final choice for the role of James Bond in Casino Royale. Producers Barbara Broccoli and Michael Wilson, as well as director Martin Campbell, were torn between him and Daniel Craig. Although Campbell opted for Cavill, the producers wanted an older Bond, and thus Craig made the cut. In April 2013, Cavill told Empire magazine that it would be a wonderful challenge to follow up Daniel Craig. He has set the bar so high. Audiences were thrilled again and desperately wanted to see him having a go at Bond after Mission Impossible Fallout in 2018, where Cavill demonstrated his impressive action film capabilities. Funny enough, an AI-assisted casting program was tasked with picking the new 007 in 2020. Lago.ai compared attributes of Bond with the qualities of the actors to determine the choice. Superman star Henry Cavill was the software's top choice, followed by Richard Armitage and Idris Elba. Agreed, 1m85 Cavill has more than just the looks for the part, he has the package. Biggest flaw in the plan? He turns 40 in May, and that might ruin his second chance at Bond. Same can be said about Ben Barnes, who is 41. He got wider recognition when he played Prince Caspian in Chronicles of Narnia in 2010, and then again when he starred as a mischievous villain in Netflix's terrific Shadow and Bone. In between, there are only a handful of films and TV series, not nearly enough to gather a mass following needed to support a successful launch as the new Bond. However, he did agree with his fans on Twitter multiple times that he should be the next Bond, so he has humor, looks suave and has outstanding fighting and weapon skills as displayed in the action series The Punisher by Netflix, where he portrays Billy Russo. Plus, he looks younger than he actually is, so that might just sway Broccoli and Wilson to audition him. However, the chances are rather slim. Now here is someone that, according to a January 2023 poll by online survey application Real Research Media, had the highest rating to replace Daniel Craig with 16% out of 9 candidates. Among them were 6 that I cover in this video. The high scorer here is 30-year-old Douglas Booth. The only higher percentage of 20% was the one that favoured none of the 9 actors in the poll. Douglas Booth rose to fame in 2010 following his mesmerising performance as pop star Boy George in the BBC2 drama Worried About the Boy. He has an appearance that every camera loves those intelligent eyes, fierce cheekbones and a square masculine jaw. But while most actors would take roles where they could utilize their looks the most, Booth places more value on his acting talent, taking on more alternative and risky roles. He would be the heartthrob Bond that would go down really well with female audiences. However, I would imagine the male audience being far greater on Bond. If Booth could reel in both sides, I personally doubt it. Less of a heartthrob, but definitely tuxedo-worthy, is 39-year-old Irish actor Aidan Turner. The lead star of BBC series Poldark was tipped to replace Daniel Craig as early as December 2015, when he played Philip Lombard in the BBC adaptation of Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. Sometimes it is enough to see an actor impeccably dressed in a tuxedo to trigger your imagination for the next Bond. Seeing him just in a towel amplified female viewers on Twitter even more. Turner has proven that he is more than capable to portray a wide range of characters, from the morally complex to the romantic. 
He has had great physical action scenes in films and definitely possesses the charisma and looks that are needed for a 007 adventure. It could work well, although he's on the brink of turning 40 and might again be one of those actors out of the desired age range. That's even more true for Tom Hiddleston, who is now 42 years of age. He gained international fame portraying Loki in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting with Thor in 2011 and most recently in the Disney Plus series Loki in 2021. When he starred as Jonathan Pine in the BBC miniseries adaptation of John Le Carré's The Night Manager in 2016, the internet went crazy shortly after that. But it's due to his involvement with Marvel that he brings a huge fan base to the table. He himself addressed the Bond rumors as follows. It's interesting in itself that I've suddenly become very aware of what I'm saying, is it not? Because there's something about what I'm saying that becomes the story. Not for you, but for the world outside. Whatever I say, i found generated more questions. True. Hiddleston is tall, good-looking and charming, but it was Bond producer Barbara Broccoli who once allegedly called him too smug and not tough enough for Bond. Her decisions count, so Hiddleston's fate may have already been sealed. Which brings us to the last entry in the Bond actor roulette, who is 45-year-old Tom Hardy, with an overwhelming screen presence and an impressive CV of characters he portrayed in his career. Christopher Nolan's Inception even put him into a slightly Bondian role with lots of action. In interviews, Tom Hardy seemed to evade the question of him being considered for Bond a lot. However, he gave fans some hope when saying, there's a saying amongst us in the fraternity of acting that if you talk about it, the Bond rumors, you're automatically out of the race. So I can't possibly comment on that one. If Hardy would like to stay in the race, despite his age and love for more independent roles and creative freedom, will probably remain a mystery. It's quite possible that Hardy himself would be the one to turn down Bond. Ultimately, the decision is made by producers Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson. Tasked with rebooting and or reimagining Bond once again after his demise in No Time to Die, they will look long and hard for a fitting actor to steer the world's longest running film franchise through the next decade. Exciting times are ahead. Who is your favorite pick for the next 007? Let me know in the comments below.